Welcome to Intrendo Tech. I'm Chuck Pierce giving you the latest trending tech news from around the web. There's a lot of new gadgets being revealed this week with the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas. Here are some of the few cool things being released right now. First up, Panasonic revealing two new 4K devices to the marketplace. Now, 4K, if you don't already know, is the next step up from 1080p. Instead of 1080 pixels per inch on the screen, there are 4,000 pixels per inch, creating an even sharper image. The two devices Panasonic announced is a 20-inch Windows 8 tablet and the first ever large screen OLED TV, both with 4K resolution. Price points were not revealed, but the pictures on these bad boys are sharp and to the point. Next on the list, Kingston revealed the first ever one terabyte flash drive. The Data Traveler HyperX Predator 3.0 USB flash drive is currently only shipping in the 512 gigabyte version, but the new terabyte model will be hitting shelves this quarter. However, don't expect to save any money on this. The 512 gigabyte model is retailing for $1,750, making the newest model worth likely over two grand. And lastly, mobile gaming seems to be on the minds of some companies at this year's CES. First, NVIDIA announced its Project Shield handheld gaming device, an Android PC hybrid that uses streaming media to play Android, Tegra Zone, and PC games compatible with GeForce graphics cards. It's shaped somewhat like an Xbox controller, but will probably have some updates and a name change once it goes to market. The other gaming device is the Razer Edge PC tablet, a system that is a tablet, PC, and game controller all rolled into one. It runs Windows 8 and has the power of high-end gaming Ultrabook with the options of a single-player attachment as well as ports for some multiplayer action. There are plenty more gadgets coming out from this year's CES, and I will try to bring you more as the week unfolds. Until then, this has been Intrendo Tech, your source for the latest trending tech news from around the web.